Travel within WA could be the next major restriction lifted within a month. That's the word from the Premier in an exclusive interview with Nine News Tonight. He sat down with political editor Gary Adsed, in particular to send a message to struggling small business owners. Welcome to Inspiration Drive, a light industrial strip in Wangara where coronavirus has been crippling small business. There's not much inspiration on Inspiration Drive now um, with this uh, coronavirus. This month it started really going downhill. My bookings just went to zero. Small businessmen like Gary Southern and neighbour Alan Patterson, who owns a specialty pool and billiard store, understood the need for major restrictions, but now they need hope. I think the worst of it's gone. And I think some places should be allowed to open. There's a lot of people that are doing it really hard out there. Every day, the entire state waits for this man to speak. I'm so sympathetic and so um, distraught by what has happened to those people on Inspiration Drive and wherever else. Uh, but I don't want to do the wrong thing by the state's health. The Premier sat down with Nine News to explain how he reached today's loosening of restrictions and what freedoms we'll get back next. Being able to travel inside WA could be given the green light within a month. The advice is that you couldn't consider that for at least three weeks. At the end of that, we'll consider it, but it may well be longer than that period of time. Because I actually feel a bit guilty. I feel a bit guilty going into cafes and buying coffee when there used to be people all sitting there eating their meals and I know I've cost them so much money. With the unemployment queues getting longer, the tourism industry at a standstill and the state's economy extinguished, time is critical. Well, this is the most important issue I've dealt with in my working life, bar none. And so I don't want to make mistakes. An animal market in China is where this catastrophe began and could easily be repeated. You're a big advocate of, of the, the China WA relationship. How are you feeling about that at the moment, given we are where we are because a pandemic broke out of China? Uh, I'm not going to get into the business of you know attacking a whole country on the basis of a, um, a uh, virus emerged from that country. Uh, but I think it's in Australia's self-interest that we continue to have a strong trading relationship with China. And in the meantime, the Premier's relationship with voters appears strong. And are you factoring in how long you've got that level of sort of trust and understanding? Well, I don't know what the exact answer is to that, except that we'll just be guided by the medical and health advice. Gary Adshead, Nine News.